Hi, welcome. <laughs> Hi, welcome back to Beyond Beans and Weenies. I'm Janet Rowland. And I'm Sue Hansen. And this is a super easy, you're going to love this. You say that every time. I know I do say that. Every and time. it is. I'm going to start doing it. I need a new shtick. <laughs> we're going to start by taking an eight ounce thing of cream cheese. Um, and, I, and you're going to add a one envelope of the onion soup mix. My two favorite things in life is onion soup mix and cream cheese. I never put really? them together, but I love cream well, cheese. Well, you just stick with yeah. me, baby. Now, I, of course, would like um, it to be a little spicy, so I'm going to add a little bit of um, horseradish to it. I know. And, and you know, to, to taste, you don't have to. Teaspoon, whatever you like. Leave it out if you don't want it. But these are called asparagus roll-ups. Okay. And um, I've had them with asparagus. But I thought, you know, some of you might have kids that don't like asparagus and they love broccoli. <laughs> okay, maybe <laughs> not. But but you could do either one. And essentially what we're going to do, go ahead and we can do that part, is we're going to take this, uh, a slice, just regular ham. This is honey ham. Uh, just a Kroger just, brand? Yeah, yeah, just a Kroger brand. And this is kind of thin, so I'm going to actually use two slices. And you lay that like that. And then you spread that on top of the on the ham just you know that's probably too much huh? this way just however it doesn't matter i know you really want to have it well i didn't know if you're going to roll it long ways or short now ways. see how you're going to roll it short ways aren't you yeah i'm going to roll it short way right exactly so then so it should be like this yeah you don't want to you really don't want too much um these are the spices that i already put into the cream cheese which is garlic salt some oregano and some um no you don't put that in there so you did garlic salt. <laughs> you did not put ground mustard. I did not in. put ground mustard. In. That's and a lie. She put in oregano. And then I bought um, frozen asparagus because it's out of season for us here now. The fresh is. Um, you could do fresh, but you'd want to cook it till it's just a little bit tender. And then you put it in the in here like this, okay? And you're gonna roll it just like that. Now, I was thinking you could actually fool your kids and tell them these are like little broccoli. These are little uh, like forests. You lay it, just do as many Forests. as you want, and then you put some um, chicken broth in the bottom. Huh? Really? You put chicken broth in the bottom? Now that's yeah. Unique. Well, it's because it's going to steam it a little bit, and it's going to you know chicken broth has a lot of flavor in it, and okay. that is it. Now you could add some cheese on the top of it, or you mm -hmm. put it in the oven for about 30 minutes, at about maybe 20 minutes, because it's already all cooked. It just mm -hmm. needs to warm up, and then you, you that's that's it. That was easy. That was easy. Where's the button? That was easy. See you next See you time. Tomorrow. Bye. Bye.